Hi, I'm Robin, and welcome to class number three of the postpartum series here at Rebalance Pilates. Today, we are going to start to add resistance or load to our work. We're going to be using a TheraBand. A TheraBand is kind of a rubbery, stretchy band like this. You can order them online. You can also find them at physiotherapy clinics. They'll cut you um, one. You want one that's about six feet long. If you don't have a TheraBand, you can use an old pair of pantyhose, um, or you can omit the TheraBand entirely. You can still do this work with light weights, um, or if you don't have light weights, cans of chickpeas are always a great alternative. Okay, so today's focus is strengthening our core with a bit of resistance. In our daily activities, our core is managing different load sets. It's very different engagement to pick up our baby versus picking up maybe an older child, a pair of, or a set of groceries, um, a laundry basket, a stroller. Our core has to adjust to different loads that it has to take on during the day. And this work with the resistance bands is a great way of introducing that strength to the core in that way. Um, the class is quite upper body arm focused, which I think is a really great thing because the last few classes we've been looking a lot at the lower half of the body, but we're gonna be looking at the upper half of the body for a lot of this class, and I really think you're gonna enjoy it. Thank you and join me on the mat. Okay, so I have secured my TheraBand onto something that I know is not going to move. And I'm gonna to come to lying down on my back with my head close to the TheraBand. And I'm going to take one end in each hand. We're gonna start with an exercise called the dead bug. So I'm gonna take a breath in and on my exhale, as I pull through my pelvic floor, I'm going to press the arms down by my side. And I'm gonna inhale and bring the arms back up. And again, exhale, pulling the abdominals in, pulling up through the pelvic floor and back down, or release. And exhale. So you can sense that as you start to add this resistance in, your core begins to work harder. The beauty of the TheraBand is that if you want more tension, you just hold higher up on the band. And if you want less tension, hold a little lower on the band. We're going to do these little dead bugs a few more times, taking a breath in, exhaling, pulling up through the abdominals as we press the arms down towards the floor and back. I'm trying to keep my wrists really support here. So try not to break the wrist. You can see that I'm kind of bending here. I want to have strong arms all the way from my shoulder down to my knuckles. And let's do this for three. Inhaling up, exhaling down for two. Inhaling up, Exhaling down one. And up. I'm gonna go into a single arm version of this now. So I'm gonna keep my right arm as an anchor, taking a breath in, and on my exhale, I'm going to pull my left arm only down toward the floor and coming back up. And I'm gonna alternate sides here. Exhale, right arm going down to the floor and up. So this oppositional work, exhale, pulling it through pelvic floor, bringing the arm down. It is engaging my opposite oblique. So starting to strengthen my oblique support, which is really important in rebuilding our core. Exhale, pulling it through that pelvic floor, inhaling up. Exhale, down, inhale up. One more time on each side and up. Last one here. And up. We're going to take the TheraBand. I'm going to give myself a little bit more or a little less tension here. Taking a breath in and I'm going to exhale and press it down 
to my side and I'm going to hold it there. So now I've got to use um, endurance to hold the arms there. I'm going to move into hip lifts, taking a breath in. On the exhale, engaging my glutes, I'm going to lift my hips up toward the ceiling and then hinging and coming back down. And again, exhale up. Inhale down. Two more like this, and then we'll add our arms into it. Exhaling up. Inhaling down. Last one here. Pulling up through those abdominals, pulling up through that pelvic floor, engaging those glutes. And down. I'm going to let the arms come down too. I'm going to hold a little higher up. We're going to add arms into our hip lifts here, taking a breath in. And on the exhale, as I lift my hips up toward the ceiling, I'm going to bring my arms down to the floor. I'm going to hinge at my hips and come back. And again, exhale, pressing down with the arms, lifting up with the hips and down. Let's do three more here. Exhale. And down. Exhale. And down. And two. And down. And one. Let's hold that there. Bend the elbows. Let's do a little tricep while we're here. Tricep for eight. And seven. Try to keep the core active, the glutes active. If it's too much to stay in the hip lift, then you can lower your bum back down to the floor. Three. Two. One, keep the arms out long, lift them up to the sky, and bring the hips down to the floor. All right, letting that go. Coming up, you're going to take your band off of whatever you have it attached to, and we're going to use it for a little bit of footwork now. So, a little bit of bend and stretch, a little bit of lift and lower. We looked at these in the previous classes, at least the bend and stretch portion. So I'm taking my TheraBand and I'm putting it across the arch of my foot and then I'm going to cross it at my ankle. I'm going to bring it back behind my knee and I'm going to cross it again and then I'm going to hold it from there. So I've got a bit of a Grecian sandal, beautiful look happening here. I'm then going to make an L shape with my hand and I'm going to place the TheraBand into the corner of my L. So that way the tail of the TheraBand is coming out from my uh, forefinger and thumb. I'm tucking my elbows in by my side. My tummy is nice and supported. Breath in, exhale, pelvic floor pulling in and up. I'm gonna reach through my heel, feel that resistance of the band. Inhale, bring the leg back in. Exhale, pulling up through those abdominals, reaching, reaching, reaching. Inhale it back. Exhale out. It's really easy to get tense in the upper body with this. So I really want you to try to stay calm through the upper body. Really focus on that pelvic floor activation so that way your core is really doing the stabilization and supportive work. Your upper body doesn't have to do that work for you. Two more. One more time, and we're going to keep the leg out long. From here, lift the leg up. The band is going to help with that. Exhale, engage the glute, reach through the heel. Just do about 45 degrees. Inhale, let the leg come up. Exhale, pull up through that pelvic floor and down. So these are assisted leg lifts. If we were to do this without the band, it would be significantly more work for our cores. But since we're just starting to rebuild our cores, having the band here to help um, take some of that load off is really helpful. It doesn't overload us, and we can build incrementally. Two more. Inhaling up. One more time. And up. Bend the leg in. We're going to untie ourselves and do this on the other side. Now, we're not spending a huge amount of time on each exercise because who has the time when you've got a little one to take care of? 
crossing at the arch of the foot, crossing at the knee, or sorry, at the ankle, and then at the knee to find that ground. So these are quick exercises that you can uh, build on uh, into your own workouts, or if you have a little bit of time, uh, throwing them in when you're playing with your baby on the floor. Taking a breath in, exhale, bend and stretch, finding a bit of glute as you reach out through the leg, inhale it back. Exhale, pulling up through that pelvic floor, inhale back. Inhale back. Breathing out through my mouth, there's more power there. There's more power to engage the core, so I would encourage you to breathe out through the mouth. Two more. Pull up through that pelvic floor, exhaling. Last one. Here's our lift and lower, lift the leg up. Exhale, pressing down to about 45 degrees. Inhaling up, exhale. Inhale up, exhale. Up, think of that pelvic floor, the elevator pulling up to the third floor, the numbers coming in toward the center of the vagina. The blueberry, think of that blueberry pulling up on your exhale. Two more. Soften those shoulders. One more time. Bend the leg in and take the band off. All right. From here, we're going to take the band and wrap it around our legs. So, I want the band to be heavy enough or tight enough that I feel resistance, but not so tight that I can't open my legs. So I'm going to start by actually bringing the band underneath my legs to begin. I'm gonna wrap it over top of my knees, wrap it underneath, and then tie it back at the top in a little knot. I'm gonna just do a couple of little open and close to see if I've got some room there. I do. You can also tie the band underneath the legs if it feels like it's too tight to um, tie it up around the top of the legs as that second pass. We're moving into our side lying leg series. We're going to start with our open book. So making sure that my legs are coming out at 90 degrees, I am reaching my bum toward the end of my mat. Pulling my tummy muscles in, I'm going to give my bum a squeeze and lift. Now, I can only go so far. The band is only letting me go so far and down. And exhale up and down. So with more load means more activation. It also means that there's a bigger uh, chance to cheat. So be careful here. Make sure you're actually engaging from your glute to lift your leg against that resistance rather than rotating through your spine or your pelvis. You don't want to start rolling back. You'll feel it. The band will tell you when you're cheating. And let's do this for four. Whew. And three. Two. One. We're going to stay up at the top. We are going to do six circles here. One, two. I can already feel that works so much with that band. Two. One. Reversing it. One, two, three. These are small circles. Two and one. And I'm going to come down. Whew, already starting to feel a lot of work there. I'm going to extend my leg out long. I need to bring my leg down a little bit to make room for that. And I'm moving into my side kicks. So I'm bringing my leg forward and then I'm going to point my glute at my foot and engage my glute and bring my leg back. Hinging forward and back. Forward and back. Now, if this doesn't feel good around the pubic bone, then uh, with the band, take the band off. Okay, two more. My range is small, that's okay. One more time, Woo! I'm gonna add here. I'm gonna lower and lift, bring my leg back. Lower and lift, bring my leg forward. 
lower and lift, bring the leg back, Ooh, lower and lift, bring the leg forward, back, lower and lift, bring it forward, two more, one more, Ooh, I'm going to bend my leg in, oh my goodness, feeling that work. Okay, giving myself just a quick little break. I am not quite done yet. We have to do a little bit of lift and lower work here. So I'm going to extend my leg out again and lift the leg and lower. Now, if the band is too much, you can get rid of it. Sometimes I do this programming and uh, as I get into it, I'm like, oh man, that's <laughs> that is challenging. Ooh. And four, three. Two, we're gonna finish with some pulses here. Pull those abs and pulse it. One, two, ah, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh my goodness. Oh, definitely feeling that work with the band. We give the legs a quick break to focus on some oblique work. So, sitting nice and tall, I've got my shoulder and my elbow in line with one another. I'm gonna let myself sink down. And then I'm gonna actively push the floor away, lifting up underneath the armpit, drawing in the oblique. Letting myself relax. Exhale, pulling up, pushing the floor away. And again, down. And pushing the floor away. One more time. From here, I'm gonna lift the arm up. I'm just gonna do three little thread the needles. The head, the collarbone, the rib cage begin to rotate. And I'm gonna open up. And again, rotate. And open. And the last one here. And open. Excellent. Whew. Other side. So. Needing to get into this other work, we're going to reach the bum out to the end of the mat, pulling the tummy in. I'm going to squeeze my bum, exhale as I lift my leg, inhale down. Checking in with myself here, am I actually engaging my glute or am I rolling into my back to lift my leg? You want to keep reaching your bum to the end of your mat. It's going to be really easy to sink your hip up and then you're kind of working your back more as you lift your leg. But if you reach that bum long, long, long to the end of your mat, you're really going to start to feel that glute. We've got four more. Exhaling for three. And two. And one. Six circles in each direction. One, two, three. And I'm actively resisting the band because the band is going to want to turn my knee in. Reverse your direction. So I have to really work at resisting and pushing against the band. Two and one. Ooh. Bringing my legs down a little bit so I can extend my leg out for my side kicks. Leg coming forward, exhaling as I go back. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Tummy is active. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Four, five, six, seven. And eight, we're going to add that little pulse in five times. Down and up, bring it back. Down and up, bring it forward. Down and up, exhale back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, Woo. and down. Two more. Down and up. Last one. Down and up. Oh, bend in. Take a little break. Just a little one. This side is stronger than my other side is, so whew, I can get through it a little bit more easily than the other side. We're going to extend that top leg out again. Hips are stacking, and we're lowering and lifting for eight, seven, six, five, four. I'm just breathing easy here. Two, one, little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend it in. Oh and come on up. Elbow and shoulder are in line with each other. We're gonna strengthen those obliques and the muscles under the armpit. Sink down and relax, then actively push the floor away. 
sink down and relax, push the floor away, lift. So we have that triangle of support. Two more. One more time, we're gonna hold that up there, exhaling as I come up, pulling up through the pelvic floor, pulling up through the core, thread the needle three times, and we are rotating head, collarbone, rib cage, and open. Head and collarbone and rib cage, and open. One more time, head, collarbone, rib cage. Pushing that floor away, and then coming on up. Let's untie our bands. We will use them a little later in the class for a little bit more of uh, arm work. But now, we're going to move on to our bellies and do something called prone work. We're going to start to strengthen the muscles in our backs. Meet me on the mat, on your belly. All right, we're going to get on to our bellies now. This is the first time that we're going on to our bellies and we need to strengthen all of that work in our upper backs, especially since we've been cuddling so much and feeding so much and holding our babies, we can feel really rounded in the back and really closed off in the chest. So we're gonna to start to strengthen those muscles. So we're coming down onto our bellies and the hands are going to come by our shoulders, the elbows are going to tuck into the waist and my nose is hovering over the floor. I'm going to start by pulling my shoulder blades toward each other. So that's going to lift my shoulders up off the floor. And then I'm going to let them relax back down. So if I imagine that my shoulder blades are like elevator doors sliding shut, they're sliding toward each other, and then the elevator doors are going to open and the shoulders are going to relax. I'm going to pull my tummy muscles away from the floor. So imagine you have an ice cube under your belly button and you're going to pull that ice cube away and my bum gets a little squeezed. Now, taking a breath in, on my exhale, I'm gonna pull those shoulder blades together. I'm gonna to start to run my nose along the mat, and then I'm gonna keep that idea of lengthening and lifting as I come into a little bit of upper back extension, and then coming back down. So I'm not even really lifting my breasts off of the mat, and I'm certainly not lifting my rib cage, the bottom of my rib cage off of the mat. Pulling the shoulder blades together, pulling the abdominals in. I'm going to nudge my nose forward like I'm pushing a marble with my nose. And I'm going to reach out through the top of my head all the way throughout the exercise. Reaching, reaching, reaching through the top of the head. So I'm getting all of this work in my upper back. And then I'm coming back down. If you feel any pinching in your low back, check your core support. Pull the abs and squeeze the bum. That's going to protect your low back. So let's do this again, shoulders pulling together, exhaling as I lengthen, 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 reaching out through the top of the head into my extension, trying to keep my feet on the floor, coming back down. Two more, pull the shoulder blades together, big exhale here as I lengthen up through the spine, lifting that sternum off of the mat and melting myself back down. One last time here, pulling the shoulder blades together, exhaling as I reach out, pulling up through my pelvic floor to support my spine, support my core, melting back down. Now, I'm gonna pull the shoulder blades together, pull the abs in and hover my nose over the mat. Taking a breath in, on my exhale, I'm gonna reach my right arm out long, then I'm gonna pull it back in. Exhale, reach the left arm out long. Inhale, back. So I'm maintaining support through my upper back now as I reach my right arm, pulling it back in. Exhale, reach the left arm. Inhale, back. One more time, keeping my nose hovering, my shoulders drawn together, my shoulder blades drawn together. Last one, exhaling. Pulling it back in and lowering that upper body back down to the floor. I'm going to push myself back into a little child's pose to stretch. Now the arm work that we're going to do next is going to continue to strengthen those back muscles. I'm going to need my TheraBand again. 
and I'm placing it underneath my palms. I've kind of tucked, again, in that letter L, I've tucked my thumbs under. And I'm coming onto my hands and knees. Taking a breath in, I'm going to use one hand as an anchor. As I exhale, I'm going to reach my other arm out and tap it down. Exhale and out. So I'm on a bit of a diagonal here. Exhale, inhale back. Exhale, inhale back. For four and three and two and one. Now I'm not done on that side. I'm going to go right out to the side now. So breath in, exhale, reach the arm to the side and tap it down. Exhale to the side and down. Four more. Three, trying to maintain my neutral pelvis. Two, one. Woo! Other side. So, my right arm is now going to be my anchor arm. I'm going to hold the other arm with my fist, take a breath in. Exhale, diagonal, inhale down. Exhale, inhale down. And three. Pushing the floor away so I'm not sinking in my shoulder blade. Four more here. Looking at the end of my mat. I don't want to drop my head. Three. Two. One. I have to go out to the side now. Take a breath in. Exhale. Inhale down. Exhale. Down. And three. And four. Five. And six. Whoo! Seven. Pushing the floor away. That's a cue for me. And one more time. Eight. Whoo! Stretch it back. All right. We're going to roll ourselves up, take your TheraBand, and we are going to tie it back up onto whatever uh, structure you had it tied onto before. So your banister, the crib, and you've got a choice here. You can do this on your knees, you could do it standing as well, um, or you can do it sitting. All of these versions are going to engage your core, but depending on how you want to challenge yourself, sitting on your heels is going to be like level one, this would be level two, and then standing would be level three. I am going to do a mix of sitting and being up on my knees. We're going to go into an exercise called the plow. So it's not too different than the arm work that we did on our backs at the beginning of the class. Taking a breath in, I'm going to draw my shoulder blades towards each other to support my arms. Exhale, pulling the TheraBand down to my hips and then controlling up. Exhale, pulling through the pelvic floor. I can feel the core and the glutes active here not just my arms, and three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. And back. I'm now going to hinge my bum. So even if you are sitting down, I want you to come up onto a little bit of an angle and you're going to tuck your elbows into your side. We're going into a little bit of tricep work from here. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. 
three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's hold that, pull those shoulder blades together, pull those abs in for three, four, two, four, one, bend the elbows, come on in. We're gonna go into a row. So I'm actually gonna walk myself back a little bit for this. Now you can see that I'm really rounding in my shoulders. I'm gonna pull those shoulder blades together. It's gonna draw my arm bones into the joint a bit more um, so I'm better supported there. Taking a breath in, exhale, row the elbows in. Inhale, release. Exhale, row. So my challenge here is to keep my rib cage and my pelvis over top of my knees. It's gonna be very easy to do this. And then I'm not engaging my core nearly as much as when I am right over top of the knees. So core is very active, pulling my pelvic floor in and up on my exhale as I row in. I'm squeezing my glutes here too, to support me. Two more. One more. We have one more arm exercise to do. I'm gonna turn my palms to face the floor now. It's the same row, but the elbows are wide. Feel how that is different in your core engagement. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. For five, and four. Three, two, one, and let it come down. And there you have it. You're all done for today. I hope that you enjoyed today's session of starting to add load and resistance into the work. We're beginning to strengthen that upper body and uh, we're gonna continue to do that work for the next two classes with light weights, but the resistance then is a great way to really start to activate that core with that resistance. We're gonna use the memory of that in our next two classes. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in our next class. Bye.